Hello there. Um, it is a great honour to be asked to present a Teach Me at Hatfield. Uh, I'm going to present about well-being. Now, you will notice that I'm not actually there in the hall, and this is just my disembodied voice talking to you all. Unfortunately, it's kind of ironic that I'm talking to you about well-being, and I'm actually quite ill at the moment and had to take some time off work, which has meant I can't actually come down to Teach Me. However, if this still plays, I would like us to try and make it quite interactive because as much as I can't be there, I can still have my phone attached to me. So grab your phone, get yourself into Twitter. We're going to use the hashtag wellbeingchat. And if you want to tweet directly at me, it's tips for teaching UK. So share your thoughts with me as much as you can. I want this to be as interactive as possible, please. And I want to generate some good discussion about the topic of well-being and education, which I suspect everyone will have an opinion, an idea, a thought and an experience of. So I happen to believe that the retention problem that we face in education is going to be eventually laid at the doors of schools. I think the government's going to turn around and say we threw plenty of money at recruitment to get teachers into the profession. We can decide whether I agree with that. Um, but keeping them in the profession is down to the schools. What are you doing about it? That's what I think is going to happen. What about you? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you think, yeah, that might happen? Do you think it's right if that happens? Whose responsibility retaining teachers in the profession? Whose is it? OK, tweet me your thoughts, please. Take a screenshot of this slide even if you want. All right, I'm going to move on because I realise that even though I'm not there in person, time is still of the essence. Now, I want to give you a little case to do that I think summarises well-being. I believe well-being is a huge issue and it has a huge role to play in why teachers leave the profession. This is a case study. This is taken from actual events. So a teacher is taken in a hospital. They message their school leadership team through the night saying, I'm being taken into hospital. I'm sorry, I won't be able to be in in the morning. What reply do you think would signal that a school understands the need to look after the well-being of their staff? What experience, what, sorry, what reply would you even expect from this? Probably some murmuring right now, I just imagine. Let me show you. This is the reply the person actually received. Okay, where are the folders from Monday's lesson? I don't think that shows a particularly emotionally intelligent response from the school. I don't believe you can manage well-being. I don't think it's a strategy that you can put in place in your school and then tick a box to say we've done it, we don't need to worry about our staff and keeping a hold of them, they'll definitely stay. Things like well-being weeks, although a starting point and a good idea if your school does nothing for well-being, once a year it's just an example of doing something as a tick box so you can say we've done well-being in our school. And if that's your approach then you don't understand that the well-being of your staff is directly related to the output of your learners the success of your organisation and that worrying thing called retention. So I have this mantra that to do well, people need to be well. It's simple, isn't it? I mean, it's really simple. I actually got it from my dad who'd worked in industry for years. And when he retired, he passed on some little pieces of advice to me when I uh, was moving into leadership role in schools. Now, well-being in schools is about the culture you foster and encourage and not the strategies you put in place. That's how I look at it. In an absolute nutshell, all you ever need to know about well-being is what's on the screen right now. Tweet me. Do you agree with that? Do you disagree with that? What's your thoughts? Take a photograph. Tell me what you think. We can move on. So if OK, where are the folders for Monday's lesson is an acceptable response to a staff absence, then something is rotten in the state. Then mark. You'll soon see the rot permeate every part of your organisation to its very core, I promise you. Staff absence rates will climb, retention will drop, results will fall, and sadly, you'll be in special measures before you know it. And I'll leave you with my final thought on the matter. To do well, people have to be well. Well-being in schools is about the culture you foster and encourage, not the strategies you've put in place. Well, thank you very much for listening. And I'm just about, I reckon, at the four minutes and the 30 marks. So I'm very sorry if that's overran. Uh, and I'm very sorry if it's underran because I can't quite remember how long I said I was allowed to talk for. Anyway, tweet me your thoughts on well-being, please. Your experiences, examples of brilliant well-being actions in your schools. I know there are some amazing ones out there. The best interactions I have on Twitter, I will send out a copy of my book, Teach Reflect Doodle. I'll send out a set of um, classroom resources. 
Um, and I'm also going to ask people to get involved in a podcast all about well-being that I am putting together. All right. So please help every teacher across the country and indeed, why not the world by sharing your well-being tips and ideas using the hashtag well-being chat. Thank you very much, everyone, for listening. Enjoy the rest of the Teach Me. I am so sorry I couldn't be there with you. Hope to speak to you all online and in future. See you in person at the next Teach Meet. Best of luck, everyone, and uh, good luck to whoever's up on next.